Welcome back to Monday Mukbang. Mukbang. Okay, so what we decided to do was take the so delicious cheese that we uh, just taste tested and turn it into a mukbang. If you haven't seen that, look at last week's test taste video go on Tuesday. Go we'll give it a good like. So what we did was we took the cheddar and added it to breadsticks. Yep, and yep. We also took the cheddar and made uh, vegan queso, which would be just uh, to just tortillas, salsa, mm. and that's actually really good. The uh, mm. you made and the cheese, and then we cooked forward. it together. Um, which piece do you want? This one. I'm, yes. I'm gonna try this. Yay! Okay, it's pretty good. I think the salsa is good. Oh, yeah. You're talking to somebody who doesn't eat a lot of salsa, but mm. I think it's good. Okay. Nice catch, buddy. Do you like some chips, Nick? We got Nick off here to the side eating some chips. And some breadsticks. Now so this is uh, a dough that we got at uh, Wegmans. Mm -hmm. That is a vegan pizza dough. It is. You know what would be really interesting? We've eaten it before. It's really interesting. What would be really interesting is this as a as a as a pizza sauce. Hmm? This is a pizza sauce. <clears throat> so we're gonna give our opinions on this cheese. Melted. Oh. I think so far the, the stuff that I tasted in the mm. salsa tastes really good. Yeah. I think that done pretty well. Well give me a napkin and oh. That dough is good. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried any of the uh -oh. breadsticks yet? Yeah, I just had one. Yeah, uh, it's good. good. So the breadsticks has um, the cheddar on it, and I will say that the cheddar did not melt nearly as much as the mozzarella did. Huh. No, what's the matter? No, no, I'm just it's it's. Uh, we put a lot of cheese. We put the whole bag of mozzarella on this pizza, so it's very cheesy. Very cheesy. Huh. That piece is hot. Yes, it just came out of the oven. Captain Obvious. Well, I'll say I don't really taste much of the cheddar on the, the breadsticks. Excuse me now. Yeah, no, the cheddar's not really existent on there. I, oh, God. I will say... Uh, <laughs> Which is surprising for me. Because the cheddar had a stronger flavor when yeah. not melted. Yeah, the fact yeah. that it's totally disappeared. Yeah, now, if you've seen that video, um, if you've seen the video, uh, my mother made a comment about how it was very, sh a very sharper cheddar. Mm -hmm. um, Ow! What's that? And it's not, it's not as uh, apparent here. I will say though, it does mess with the salsa a bit. What? I, I would say it messes more with the salsa than it did the bread. You mean it modifies the flavor of the salsa? Yeah, it modified the flavor of the salsa more than the dough and the bread. Because, I mean, it doesn't, the salsa doesn't seem like pure queso. I mean, I'm I, probably because there wasn't a lot of cheese. Well, usually queso is all like, a usually consistent cheesy mixture. They're just, it, it just maybe it just didn't either melt that way, melt that way or just have enough. I'm just, Cause what it looked like it had. I only had partial, a partial jar, jar of salsa, so I, <clears throat> I, I did what I thought was best with the to the amount. Of it cheese tastes really it. good. I'm not. I'm not saying that you're knocking it. I'm just saying that you know I would have to refine the recipe. And when I say recipe, I mean the two ingredients I put in. Yeah. Hey, I will say that the salsa cheddar mixture. Mm -hmm. I mean, the pizza's not bad, but of the three uses we put this cheese to, it's my fave. I like that the best. Mm. What, the pizza? Well, I'll say this. Oh, so I haven't tried the pizza yet. I'm about to take my first bite of pizza. It definitely melted. Yes. But it's not stringy, like mozzarella stringy cheese. Yeah, you know what I mean? It doesn't have the mozzarella pool. But it's not, I mean, taste wise. Flavor's good. Yeah. Taste wise, it's not bad. It is a little bit messy. Mm. Yeah. It actually is sweet. 
And that might be the sauce we used. I uh, I think the pizza was really good. I think of, of a lot of the pizzas, we, the homemade pizzas we made with the cheeses, I would say it's one of the better ones. Yeah. I mean, I forget all the cheeses we used because in the mukbang we used four of them. But I would definitely say this is one of the more, one of the better ones, at least in my opinion. Um, I would, I would definitely eat this again. I mean, I, I'm not usually a big like <clears throat> homemade or frozen pizza kind of guy, but definitely Butter. with sit down. Buttercup over here. Definitely with a lot of the homemade pizzas we've made. Buttercup. I would, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be a uh, too against making pizzas. So, so it's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually surprisingly enough, I actually prefer the breadsticks. I mean, it's the same dough. Yeah. But you I prefer, do prefer, prefer the breadsticks. You prefer the breadstick with the cheese? Yeah, I didn't have one without cheese. But the cheese doesn't have much flavor. Do you want to end or? Middle so. food. <clears throat> it was, I think this has been a very successful one. Uh, I don't quick, think I mean, it's a quick turnaround. In. Yeah, I mean, it took 20 minutes to cook. So it's not bad, mm. but there's a sweetness to the pizza that I'm not sure if that's the sauce or the, the cheese. I think that's the only problem I'm running into. I would tell you it's the sauce. You think so? Well, one thing. Oh, because so delicious is usually weirdly sweet sometimes. And it's it's we've had other cheeses where it's sweet in the sauce. Yeah. So it, it could technically it could be the cheese. What the I mean it's good. Hell. Yeah. So we thought today we'd just kinda of do a little bit of a talk around of food 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 we're eating. Um any real plans we have coming up? Just well, you know, shooting the Valentine's can. Day is right around the corner. Yes. And nobody here is in love. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm in love. There you go. Yeah, with pizza. Yeah, right. Anybody out there who's married with children or unmarried with children, whatever, um, there's this thing that Neil does that is just so hilarious. He really dislikes when John and I show each other any affection. It could be as little as like a hug. When he was a little kid, like a toddler, he would get in between us and like push us apart. He just doesn't like us showing each other affection. I don't know why. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. I. But to this day, he's 18. And he still doesn't like us showing each other affection. I don't know. I've never been one to be like... I've always looked at people who like overly show affection in public. I don't know. I, like I've always been like kind of like... Huh, huh. So what you're saying is... What you're trying to say is it's not just us. <laughs> no. You don't like public displays of affection. I don't... I shouldn't say I dislike it. It just... To me, I feel a little uncomfortable because I feel as though, like, public display, uh, ex, uh, public displays of affection is more of like a privacy thing in my kind of thing. So then it would be a private display of affection. Yeah. Uh, so I, so I don't know. I just <coughs> doesn't I dislike it. It's just I, <coughs> I personally feel uncomfortable in that kind of setting when that happens. I see. Yes. I don't know why. Well, this is a little bit more revealing than what I thought our mukbang was gonna be. <laughs> Neil, the psychoanalyst, uh, the psychoanalyzation of <sighs> Neil. Neil. Yeah. Well, this really isn't uh, us. <laughs> us. Well, I, Psycho I don't like public I'll be the This really isn't a psychoanalyzation. Wow. Well, whatever you have. We're not doing any sort of therapy, son. <clears throat> <laughs> Welcome to Monday Mukbang. Anyone out there who's a therapist, do you want to write in the comment section down below 
what Neil's issues are when he doesn't like PDA. Be our guest. Sure. Bring it on, internet. We would love to hear it. Yeah. Yeah. Because we always love comments about Neil. Okay. We do love comments about Neil. We do. It, they're very, they're very enjoyable. We make sure that Neil hears all the comments about yes. Neil. Yes, mostly it's about my hair, which I've kept. I've tried to keep up as being as light, fluffy, and as sporadic as possible. Oh. Sporadic. Sporadic. If anyone knows a bedhead, which most, mostly everybody does, uh, I have a very bad case of it. It looks like my hair grew 20 inches, or not 20 inches, like five inches taller than what it needs to be. Oh. Yeah. Mm. It's a fun time. Okay. So that's why, why you've been washing your hair in the morning instead of the evening? Exactly. Okay. Because, because I, I've, uh, water just puts my hair down, bed head's gone, all good to go. Could you give me the breadstick that's in the middle over there? Which one? The skinny one that's in the middle? No, no. I want the skinny one that's in the middle. I'm getting Not, kind of full. Nice job, Dad. I am getting kind of full, though, and I only had the one piece of pizza, but... I will say that pizza's I'm getting kind very of full. Thin. Well, it's a bunch of dough. Yeah, yeah, could you hand me one of those ends down on the left, about down Which there? Which one? I don't care. Do you want the fatter one or the skinnier one? Not the skinny. I think you're going to say that. Well, this is definitely... I definitely could see this being a, a, another mukbang, like a, another like remake. If, if you've seen, we've had a couple of remade foods of mukbangs. I definitely say this is one. We usually do a pasta mukbang at least once a month. Yeah, I would definitely say this is this is one I I, I would. Uh, but we like pasta. We eat a lot of pasta. We, we like a lot of pizza. I'll tell you this. That's good. Nick likes the salsa. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, Nick loves salsa in general. Huh? What? These are a little bit messy. Yes. I will say that. The, oh. um, which is we didn't thin out the dough. What are you doing? I don't know if you can see Neil's plate there, but it is quite a mess. Oh, we didn't thin out the dough. It's just... <clears throat> Your dad tried. It was not her. Joe wow. was very elastic. -y. Uh oh. He would push it on one side, side to move it out, and it would like spring back at him. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty. And pretty. one thing of dough probably could have made two pizzas. Yeah, that's what I. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Do we have another dough? Mm -mm. No. Nope. Both. Oh, Maybe. you used both doughs. Okay, yeah, could we use one for the pizza and one for the, the breadsticks? Yeah. Which. Well, it's not a bad choice. It just made more food than what we eat. Yeah. I mean, I can't eat anymore. But I, yeah. The I bread is. I definitely find with this being like a reoccurring one. You want to do another one? I could do another one. I Maybe a different cheese. I sense. I sense. Uh, Neil likes homemade pizza. I, I like. I, I like the I, vegan cheeses. Um, I think he also liked the. The homemade queso with the, the salsa. salsa in them. I will say that was also really good. I, I, mean, I don't think I think we've gone over this topic a lot of times, and I mean we we found a lot of foods that we've kind of tried. We've tried to transfer in and out of a regular om <laughs> omnivoric omnivoric life. Made up word there. Um, I think definitely cheese is one of them. Um, I definitely think this is definitely been a kind of a motivator for at least me to eat more healthier, especially being in college, I've eaten a lot more unhealthier kind of foods, and I definitely think this is more of a movement to eating healthier, even though, as you've seen here, we uh, the dough is a lot more fatty, and we Not also- fatty. Or, well, doughy. It's fat her dough, and it's just, as we put it, it's a lot more puffy. Just because something's big does not mean it's full of fat. <laughs> it is fat. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Puffy? Chubby? What do you want me to say? It's a thick crust pizza. Yeah, it's a thick crust pizza. Oh, Whenever I think a thick crust pizza, I think it's like, like, yeah. like, careful. Because <laughs> I've got an example of thick crust pizza right there. Uh, I I think a thick crust pizza is like really crisp. Oh, you could have crisped this up. Uh, I think the problem is is that uh, when you have usually have like a thick crust pizza in like a restaurant. Uh huh. 
um, they have pans specifically so right. that the crust becomes crispy. Right. We just put these on a, a cookie, cookie sheet. Sheets. I'm, and I'm not saying don't crisp it because I don't like crispy pizza. I like it. You like doughy pizza. I like soft pizza. So you like doughy pizza. That's what this would be. This would be considered a doughy pizza. Wow. We got our dogs. They like the dough too. I was giving them a little bit of dough. Yes. They like the dough too. So I'd say this is a success. Um, to go back off this. I'll say this though. I only I had two breadsticks and I had a piece of pizza and I am full. I had I had three pieces of pizza and a number of breadsticks and I haven't eaten, I haven't eaten much today, so I'm I'm good with that. Yeah. Uh, there is a plan in the future. Uh, I will say this. I do plan on on making something. I know they don't know about it, but I do, I do plan on making uh, something. Maybe do, it'll be a mukbang. Um, you're gonna make your own mukbang? You're gonna do a mukbang? I could, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I'm trying to find a recipe that uh, is a vegan thing to an old recipe that I got at a restaurant that I used to work at that was not vegan. So I'm trying to veganize it and maybe you'll see it as a mukbang. As only me or what somebody else will be. I already with me. know what it is. So yeah. we'll see, you'll you'll hope you'll maybe see that in the future. I hope to get that ready in a couple days. You should have told me I would have bought the uh, ricotta at uh, Wegmans. Well, I I plan to go get all the ingredients. Oh, oh okay. I was it's I was, a mission. I was gonna get all the ingredients. So Yay. I do plan to uh, get all the ingredients, get it all set up. Um, whether it'll be a mech bong, whether it'll just be a taste test, uh, how long it'll be, who will be with me when we do it, it's all a mystery really for right now. But I will, I will give that piece of information out to the interwebs of the Omni's Eat Vegan fan base. I'm looking forward to this. Um, and we'll see how that turns out. If it turns, if first first one doesn't turn out right, uh, we'll, we'll we'll try and get a handle on it. So hopefully there is a video coming out of a recipe that I. I have either I have copied and made or modified in my own way, and uh, you know I have a recipe for that stuff. No, well, you don't. Yes, I do. We do actually have a fried ravioli recipe in our cookbook. Well, I'm gonna try a different one. So. You could try a different one. Yeah, I think we use a tofu. I'm trying to remember. Oh, it is. It is. Fri <laughs> it is fried ravioli. <coughs> but it wasn't. I believe it was tofu. Oh. Hey, Nick. Hi, oh. Nick. Ah! Welcome to the mukbang. Yeah, welcome to the mukbang. Our cookbook's right over here. I should just grab it, but okay. I, I and I. So that is <coughs> that is a coming uh, venture, uh, venture that I plan to take part in. Hopefully, to contribute to the channel a little bit because I know that there you go. I know that my father has been helping out with doing some of the what have I eaten today's videos, and my mother has been editing some. So I thought I would some, some. editing she all, editing all, all of them. So I, I I was looking forward to. Making something, maybe hoping to make a video. There you go. So we'll see what happens in the near future. It is going to be a ravioli, fried ravioli of sorts. Excuse me. That but is it'll some, be a Neil original. Uh, that'll be, be something to look forward to. Neil Cooker. Oh, so, Neil Cooker. So uh, this has been Omni's TV, and I think all, I think we're wrapping up. I think Anna. I think all in all, it's been pretty good. I'd definitely be I would definitely be down to uh, do this again. Do this again as a mukbang. Maybe not do the breadsticks because. You think just pizza or breadsticks would be fine? Yeah, I think definitely we could redo like a salsa, that salsa stuff again, and maybe you could see like a nacho thing because I know that one bag of so delicious that nachos uh, was preferred with the cheddar, uh, and Nick would I think Nick would be down for that as well. Nick doesn't like the nachos, maybe. so who knows? You may see what we nacho may juice. we may have already here shooting the can. Be thinking of some ideas for other mukbangs. <gasps> So, Mukbang. from Omni's Eat Vegan crew, hit the subscribe button to uh, see at the uh, videos that come out. Uh, same with this one and the one that may come out, the, one, the Mukbang with my stuff, or whatever these guys create here. <coughs> hit, the like, hit the like button if you like the video, comment down below if you uh, would be excited to see Kind of an if, original recipe. If you want recipe. to see Neil's fried ravioli recipe, hit, hit write a comment down below because I might have to comment on our own video. Show us the show us, <laughs> show us the Neil ravioli. Who knows? Yeah, we may yeah, make show, the, show us your ravioli. If, if we can, we could make another cookbook. You try and make another cookbook. I know. A 2018 so cookbook.
cookbook. Cause I don't you, know about that. Maybe a 2020. When, when did you when did you do the first cookbook? I was last year. It was last year. Uh, Christmas of 2016. Yeah. yeah. So, but so we 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 worked on that cookbook for a year prior to. Uh, that's about eight months. Yeah, yeah it took us about eight months to get that ready. So who knows? Maybe this will be the beginning of a second Omni's eating cookbook. Whether it is or not, we'll see in the near future. Um, so yeah, if you, as I said before, hit the like, hit the subscribe, notification of when the videos come out. Comment down below if you you like uh, uh -oh. just your your interest or uh, the, this video or any of the kind of topics or uh, ideas we shot out today. Um, let us know what you think. Yeah. yeah. From Amazing Vegan, thank you for watching. Have a good day. We'll see you next time. Good day. Bye.